Ow! Welcome back guys to another edition of Looting Today. We're going to be counting down the top five best budget instruments in my opinion because I have nothing to unbox this week so I'm resorting to a list video. What a seller I am. Now of course I'm only going to be including instruments that I've tried out on the channel so if your favourite budget instrument isn't in this list don't be offended it's just that I haven't tried it yet so feel free to leave a comment down below telling us what your favourite instruments are and you never know they may turn up on a future video. So first up at number five we've got pan pipes. I realised that was a very aggressive way of opening the bag. For such a gentle instrument, it really didn't deserve to be manhandled. <laughs> now there are loads of different types of pan pipes available online, but these ones particularly you can pick up for about 25 pounds and they're really good. You get a very clean sound out of this one and it's very easy to pick up and play. You can even learn a few songs or it's a very good instrument to freestyle on. And this is the part where I try to freestyle on this thing and it sounds absolutely awful, making my previous point completely redundant. <laughs> Oh, I really screwed that one up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm getting loads of spit on this thing. <laughs> Where I can do better. I think this pan pipe is a good one for people who haven't played a pan pipe before. It's a great starting point. It's easy to pick up and play. It makes a good sound. What more do you want from a budget instrument? And at number four, we have the melodica. Again, it feels like a bit of a cop out including this instrument in yet another list video, especially when you consider that we only have two list videos on this channel, including this video right here. Two out of two. Well done. Now I'm going to assume that everybody watching this video already knows what a melodica is, but to keep it simple, it's basically a keyboard that you blow into. Simple as that. And in true looted style, despite having this instrument for so long, I still don't really know how to play it. I know, I'm a terrible person, you don't need to tell me. Nothing's changed. This instrument sounds a lot more sinister than I remember, but maybe that says more about me than the instrument itself. I'm just a far shiftier bloke these days. Or maybe that's just how melodicas sound after they've been left in the cupboard for like three years or so. Twinkle twinkle little stuff is a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> it's once again another clean sounding and easy to learn instrument despite me having never learned how to play it. So I'm not a very good example, but take my word for it, it's easy to learn. And of course it's not like your regular electric keyboard which you need to power or anything. You can just take this anywhere and play it wherever because you just need you and your lungs. Play it on top of a mountain, play it under the sea. Maybe not that, that might be quite hard. It's also a great two player instrument. One can blow, the other can play. And now after talking about the melodica once again on this channel, I think I can now confidently say that everybody who has subscribed to this channel is now sick of hearing about it. So now I can retire it. It is good as gone. You're never going to see it again. Goodbye, melodica. It was good knowing you. And speaking of keyboards at number three, we've got... The Rollout Piano. Now I know we didn't really praise this instrument when we originally did a video on it, but it is a very versatile piece of kit. For one, you can take it and play it pretty much anywhere. It's battery powered or you can power it via DC. And it also has an abundance of different tones built into it, like over a hundred or something silly like that. So you can just make so many different sounds of it. From your regular keyboard sounds like, all the way to, I can't actually remember the name of this tone, but it does remind me of retro Japanese RPG music. And you can even get some weird sound effects out of this thing.
I'm not actually sure what that sound is. Scratching of a deck or really bad birds. Your guess is as good as mine. Ah, that's birds. Or is it a car alarm? Now, of course, this thing isn't going to be as good as a top quality keyboard. I mean, for one, the keys really aren't all that great. They're made of silicon, which means they're squidgy. They don't give much feedback. But that doesn't take away from how versatile this keyboard piano is. And I think if you're looking for a more compact and movable keyboard, this is a good place to start. And at number four, we've got the original stylophone. Now, if you want the full stylophone experience, I would suggest that you check out the Gen X one, but that is significantly more expensive than the original. So this time round, this little guy gets our pick. Now, I think I can safely say that this is one of the most famous pocket synthesizers out there. This thing is turned up in music by David Bowie, a load of other artists from around that time period. And it just has a very unique and retro sound to it. Now, I don't know where they got the idea of this thing being a pocket synthesizer. I mean, it says it on the box, the original pocket synthesizer. But let's be honest, unless you're a goth kid from the early 2000s, this thing ain't going in nobody's pockets. It's fun, it has a very basic electronic sound, and it's very open for customization. Of course, unlike the Gen X one, you don't have many options when it comes to adding delay and all sorts, but you can plug this into pedals, you can plug this into different synthesizers, and just make some weird and wonderful sounds with it. Example. Sorry about that. My inner noise musician came out there. It's a great little electronic instrument and if you're looking for something with more of a retro sound and retro look, you can't go too wrong with the stylophone. And then of course there's other versions of the stylophone which you can then upgrade to, so you've got options. And before we get to number one, let's go through some honorable mentions. Ow! <laughs> And finally, at number one, our favorite budget instrument that we have ever tried on the channel, it is the kalimba. Unfortunately, we don't have the original kalimbas, which we checked out on the channel like three years ago because they were cheaper and they were just your basic acoustic kalimbas. This one right here is an electric one, which is a bit more expensive, but it still delivers the same sound as those cheaper acoustic kalimbas. And personally, I think that kalimbas give you the most peaceful bang for your buck. The sound that you get out of these things is just so tranquil. It will just set your mind at ease. And even if you have no experience with kalimbas, you will make a good sound. It's so hard to play this thing badly. And I love that. Just check out the abundance of videos on YouTube of people playing this thing absolutely amazingly. It just sounds great. It's perfect for relaxation. It's like therapy to the ears, which is why I love the kalimba. And if you disagree with any of the picks on this list, why don't you go ahead and shout at us in the comments down below with your suggestions for budget instruments that we should check out on the channel and maybe they'll make it into a future video. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pikafoop and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.